What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So we've got a surprise for you today because this is not your regularly scheduled programming. However, I still need you to go ahead and smash that thumbs up button to piss Ken Griffin and other Hegemans off. But today we're going to be talking about uh, NMDM stock just a little bit, not much. And we're also going to be talking about MVIS, that's Micro Vision Stock. Now, uh, before I give uh, Chris the introduction that he deserves, even though he does not need it, he's from Spot On Analysis, by the way. Uh, his, uh, the link to his channel is in the description below, and he will be talking to you guys in just a second. But uh, what I wanted to tell you guys is that we've had a lot of requests for MVIS. Chris actually covers it on his channel. I've covered it on my channel in the past. Um, so people have been commenting on, on my old videos. And apparently MVIS had a, about a 20% move today, so everybody wants to know, hey, has the bottom come in? Was that the bottom? Uh, do we need to be buying in right now? So I think that the best way that I know how to help you guys is by uh, letting you guys see the fundamental analysis and understanding where this company, Microvision, is actually valued at and where the stock is supposed to be trading at based on its fundamentals. Now, I know that, uh, and I know this by the comments, that some people are expecting a MOAS in MVIS, but we're not here to talk about the MOAS aspects of MVIS because we're only talking about fundamentals. So that's a, a whole other series. We can, we can do that on my channel later. Do you have the short interest to support a MOAS? I, you know what, Chris? I actually haven't even looked at the short interest. Let because, me check right quick. Okay, see. We're going to check. You can go ahead and continue. We're gonna explain to you a little bit about what goes in or what goes uh, what goes into doing a fundamental mm -hmm. analysis. It's not fun. It's kind of boring, nerdy. It's nerdy stuff. A lot of numbers to crunch. But if you're really into this company, if you're holding shares, if you want to know everything that there possibly is to know or that you need to know about a company, then fundamental analysis is the way to go. Uh, with NNDM, the only thing I have to tell you guys is look, be initiating. New coverage on NNDM, it's also going to be fundamental coverage. Uh, I used to cover NNDM on my channel uh, several, several months ago. I've only been covering you know, a, a handful of stocks, a couple of stocks, since uh, January of last year, as most of my subs already know, and haven't had time, much time, to cover anything else. I do here and there, but you know, I, I stay pretty faithful to the stocks that I'm covering. Uh, however, we've got Chris here, and he likes to cover a small basket of stocks, and once he's done covering those stocks, he can take a break for a while from those stocks and cover new ones. So we're going to uh, try his format on this channel. Uh, Chris, what I want you to address today with uh, my crowd here is what we saw in the market today, okay? Uh, and specifically, let's, let's talk about MVIS, since that's a stock you cover on your channel and you're familiar with the fundamentals. Um, the comments that we've been receiving, people asking if the bottom was in, if that was the bottom, and kind of wondering, well, is this a good time to get in? What are they seeing? Why the 20% move? Can you break that down for them real quick, Grace? What's your professional opinion on this? Well, the 20% move, in my opinion, of course, no one really, really knows. But in my opinion, I just think it's consistent with everybody else in the market. I don't see them. Uh, outperforming anyone else. Everybody in my uh, basket was green today. So if these guys moved 20 and the market didn't move or, you know, everybody else was red, I would, you know, want to dig deeper. Uh, as far as the technicals go, we see uh, the bullish trend easing up uh, to the uh, direction of neutral. But as far as the bottom goes, uh, the bottom on any stock is zero. So uh, that's the answer to that. Now, beyond that, we can look into the uh, fundamentals and say, okay, it's zero, but we look at the technicals, which, which uh, you know, captures the behavioral side of stocks. And looking at these charts, you can look at them now. You can draw a band. We're looking at about $1.09 uh, when we see capital begin to come back in. And, you know, it will come in until about $6 a share uh, before people uh, begin to cash out. So that's the, you know, the $5 range, 109 to about 638 is what I'm seeing on the technicals. But, you know, someone younger than me with better vision maybe can zero that in a little more. But uh, that $5 spread is, is about uh, where it needs to be. Okay. And, I mean, that sounds about reasonable to me. Is there anything that the volume has been telling us lately? Or uh, I know, and I, I know without even looking, that the volume was probably uh, outside of the norm today. Based there on were the three movement. times the volume. And three I, times the volume. I, 
I know Suma Sharma doesn't follow my YouTube channel, <laughs> but I was critical uh, this weekend. I cover NVIS every week, and I, I hold NVIS shares. And I tell it like it is. I was critical of him. His stock's down 70 80%. No one in the company has even uh, moved a finger to uh, buy any shares back. I want to know why. Um, I think a vote of confidence. I think I know why he's not buying his own shares, but I want to hear him say it. Uh, he has been telling us bullish stuff for the last six quarters. So if you're this bullish and these uh, you know shares are this low and this undervalued in your opinion, you just made twenty dollars off of a, a stock sale when you sold out at twenty eight. I don't think it'll you know hurt to come out and spend two million and buy your shares back right. at three dollars. So. Uh, that was my question to him. I mean, I'm a, I'm a you know shareholder, and you know people get frustrated and uh, they see deals being made. Uh, you know, I want you to come out and say we we lost the Mercedes deal. Uh, you know, I don't want to read that you know Luminar is making deals or Alfred made a deal. I want you to come out and say, hey guys, we swung, we missed it. This is what we need to tighten up. We need to go forward. But you're coming out saying you're best in class, and you are the only. Like our company without a deal, you know, uh, or big right. time company. So, uh, come out on this. Let us know where we are and tell us why you're not buying shares. I still hold. It's frustrating, but I still hold. I still hang in there. I still believe in, uh, you know, what they're gonna do. We'll give it to June. He said, wait till June. So anything outside of a deal is just behavioral. You know, it's just the market. Uh, people coming in, uh, you know, picking up shares where they feel like they can make a little money on them, but. Outside of that, for the, for the most part, everybody was up today. So this, right. is, this is not an outlier. This is consistent with their beta. They're operating, in my opinion, inside of their fundamentals now. They were not when I began covering them. We made a video on this so, uh, six months ago, seven right. months ago. Oh, you know, we got torched. We got ate alive. We got called everything under the sun. Uh, but I, I believe that video aged well. Yeah, it, it definitely aged well. And, uh, you know, everything we said has come to fruition.